right people, super exciting day today. I've been invited down to the world famous Victoria and Albert Museum. They want to meet with me and two of my scientist mates. Thanks mate. We're looking at how food connects us to nutrient cycles, um, to farming, how we buy and sell food, how we cook it and eat it. So could you make cheese using microbes from celebrities? So let's just recap. The V&A want me to make cheeses from celebrities, bacteria. Like number one, I don't know any celebrities. Two, I've never made cheese and I don't know how to make it. And number three, I don't know how to make cheese from celebrities' bacteria. Welcome to the cheese series. Right people, the history of the V&A is a story like no other. From its early beginnings as a museum of manufacturers in 1852 to the foundation stone laid by her Queen Victoria self I built this place to today's state-of-the-art galleries the museum has constantly evolved in its collecting and public interpretation of art and design its collection spans well over 5,000 years of human creativity in virtually every medium you can think of housed in one of the finest groups of Victorian modern buildings in Britain, it's one of the most important museums in the world. Well that's what Google says anyway. We're going to need to get a plan of attack and for that I need the flip chart. <laughs> right, let's get this stuck on. Okay people, so this is for the V and A museum and it's for their food bigger than the plate exhibition. There's three things to sort out. Number one, I've got to get hold of some celebrities. Two, I've got to learn how to make cheese. And number three, I've got to collect their bacteria in a clinically controlled environment and procedure. And to do that, we're going to go see my mate, Helena, who's here in Old Laundry Yard. <laughs> So Helena's been made and she's a bio designer, which means she's a scientist, super clever. I'll let her explain. Hey Helena, how are you? Bio designer, what the hell does that mean? Rather working like with wood or metal, like most designers do, I work with biology, like living organisms like bacteria, yeast. What's one of the coolest things that you've made with biology? Ooh, I have made a dress um, what can change its shape based on if you're sweating and if you're cold or not. Yeah. That is flipping amazing. <laughs> how the hell are we going to collect these celebrities' bacteria? How the hell, how will we do that? It's actually not that hard. We get a clean little swap. It's a little bit like a cotton one for your ear. And then we swipe the skin and then we put it on an agar plate where there's uh, all the delicious food for the bacteria on there. And then we put it in an incubator there where they happily grow up and then we can start working with it. Nice one, Elena. All right, I'm gonna find out about making the cheese. Okay, cool, game on. You, mate, you're all right. Good to see you. Good to see you too, man. Um, cheese. Cheese. This is my mate Dom, and he's taking me to meet his mate Bill. They're both cheesemakers, and they're going to induct me into the dark arts of cheese making. <laughs> Basically, to make cheese, you start with fresh raw milk. The fresher, the better. You add acidity with bacteria to split the milk. You add rennet to support coagulation of the curds. Then it's cut, stirred, cooked and washed. Drain the curds, salt and age and you're done. 
Right guys, the VNA have sorted him out some celebs, and first up is this guy. My city yellow went to the death of me. Chicks wanna pin me down, trying to wrestle me. Stephen Manderson, better known as Professor Green, is a British rapper and all-round top guy. He's won a MOBO as well as an NME award, but listen, I'm not sure that these accolades stack up to making a good cheese, quite frankly. Let's find out. I hate cheese, but I'm here to be made into one. So you're the only one that's been really specific that we're going to use your belly button and it's got to be mozzarella. Yeah. Why? Right, so belly button, just because I just thought it was funny. Yeah. Um, I don't really want to, you're not going to film that bit. I'm like, I'm about two abs into my <laughs> my summer preparation. There were other places, but I definitely don't want them on film. <laughs> um, but then mozzarella is the only cheese that, that I eat. I hate cheese. Really? Hate it. It's not like, I don't just like... Because you like, have a reaction? No, nah, I, do, I do have a reaction, okay. but it's not like a, it's not an intolerance, although okay. I do find it completely intolerable. I can't stand it. Mate. <laughs> it's, it's like someone made, people are like, oh, what about like a, you know, like a fake cheese, like Baby Bell. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. can't stand it. Have you any idea what a pain making mozzarella is? It's bonkers, right? Because I've never made cheese before and then I've right. just started this process. So mozzarella... So wait, you've just started this process. Literally you never just... made cheese before. Right, so never. why the hell did you want to make it out I know, of your I know, I know, right? With mozzarella, you've got, to, you've got to culture the milk, which means we add your bacteria to it, we bring it up to temperature. But then it has this whole process that it goes through and it turns into this plasticine that you then chill in, in, in water and then we brine it. And so you are going to taste your mozzarella in about six to eight weeks at the VNA, hopefully. Your but mate, yeah, I've got to taste it. Is that not a bit like cannibalism? Then I'm bringing someone else to taste it. You can, totally. <laughs> but this could be a new revenue stream for you. Um, <laughs> mate, if I got into cheese, people would be very confused. <laughs> like, I'm renowned for it. I've got a second Instagram. Just because really? I, yeah, because I, I do, like, I, I'm, I'm big into food. A lot of my mates are chefs and I enjoy eating. Yeah. Um, and I eat out a lot. Oh. And I kind of, when I travel now, I'm of an age, you know? Where um, when I travel, I tend to see places by way of coffee and food. Yeah, I had to basically separate because I couldn't just keep putting pictures of, of plates of food up and Professor yeah. Green because people are like, "You're a musician. Where's the music? I don't care what you yeah. have for lunch." But there are a lot of people who actually do care about what I have for lunch. Yes. What we want to do is that we want to get access to your body parts. We want to get some bacteria from there. Uh, so we should kind of. No, I know. Just so I'm not comfortable asking another man that stuff. No. Right? Well, can I have access to your body parts? Right. Hey, right. Right. I don't get this on. Camera? And, and they make their own beer as well. You're having a beer in a fag, there's nothing more glorious <laughs> in British sunshine. Go for it. Sweet. Very safe hands. Thank you. Have you ever been in a bio lab before? I've never been in a bio lab before, no. I don't want to protect you from what is inside, I want to protect the inside from you. Right. Because we only want to get a particular bacteria from you. Sure. So I do a lot of work in and around mental health, and mm -hmm. I can't, like, I honestly have felt better mentally since I've felt better overall, which I guess makes sense, but there's, we finally proven the link between, um, I say we, I did a play a part in it, but um, between gut health and mental health, haven't we? So if you're ready, I'm ready. I feel a little bit hilarious, like when I'm doing that. Really you feel it's, hilarious. It's, it's, <laughs> is it going to be edible? Um, we don't know yet. I actually will send your cheese in a lab and then we sequence your cheese. Right. And then I will tell you if you're edible or not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find out if my cheese is edible. And my is cheese gonna is gonna be sequenced. Next up, the legendary Suggs from Madness. Hello. Suggs, how are you? Nice right, to mate. see you. Yes, exactly. Nice to see you. One. Step. Beer! He's had 15 top 10 singles with Madness and in the 80s, spent 214 weeks in the charts across the decade. Wow, what an absolute legend. Let's see if that means he's got decent bacteria though, eh? I will swipe your head, yes. and then we grow it up that we have enough to actually make a nice big chunk of cheese. And basically it's another revenue stream for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, we'll save toe cheese for another time, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can then make it into the shape of my head. If you can or not, that's that's another yeah, I don't story. Know told you that. I no, no, no. I, like we can try. We're happy to take a cast <laughs> of your head today. We've never done it before, but we'll have a crack. Um, no, but I got okay. I, I, but what? But and that's not to say that's not further down the line. If this I goes, hope, as, I like you know, thinking if we can take you to the uh, yeah. 
laboratory and let's go. Let's do it. The ear it is for your cheddar, is that right? Well, I think we decided, yeah, we talked about the forehead. There's probably more bacteria in my ear, if, if that's what you're looking for. I mean, there was some guy who got in big trouble in America because he said he very rarely washes his hands. He said, but I'm just saying because I've got all my friends with those bleaches all day long, you know, all day long. I mean, obviously, you don't want to be passing around bad bacteria, but at the same time, yeah, as you say, we don't want 80% of ourselves to disappear, do we? But the rest in the skin, there's a lot of good stuff. What you actually want, you have like all the bacteria coming out of your skin, and then there's the fat layer on top. Yeah. And they do really good work for you. It makes your skin healthy, regulates yeah. your hormones and everything. So you're putting them in the situation where they can feed or grow or whatever. Yeah, I yeah, give yeah, them yeah. a happy life to yeah. flourish. <laughs> right, right. No, it's very strange, considering where I'm from, that we were standing on the roof of Buckingham Palace. And I was certainly doing some sweating up there, for sure. And uh, yeah, that would remind me of Stilton, yeah, because I think of um, Christmas time and the family all around the table having a nice time. And uh, that's really what my band Madness has been about, you know, letting people feel like they're having a good time. I'm just saying, how many people have died of eating cheese, as far as you can remember, you know, in my lifetime, none, you know what I mean? So it's sort of over paranoia about everything having to be completely sterilised. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think people forget it is actually healthy. Very nice to it meet you. It was really nice meeting you. Thanks See you on the other it, side. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, keep yeah. you updated about your cheese. Thank you very much. Cheese. Oh, I, I thought I was doing some crazy stuff in here. We've been like trying to make cheese explode. Um, <laughs> but uh, I do get some fairly unusual requests, but this is this is right up there. Through millions of many processes and events, we evolved into human beings. It's like watching an F1 racing team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, coming last. <laughs> Oh, my.